I'm John. I'm going to be talking about Bonsai DB, a database I've been working on for about the past year. Um, it is an ACID compliant transactional document database um, written in Rust for Rust. Um, the name is inspired by the concept that I wanted the database to, to grow with you um, as you developed your project from you know the test that is basically local only, uh, developing on your, your local machine. Uh, to the point that you might scale it eventually to needing a quorum-based cluster. Right now, we only have uh, the local-only model as well as a client-server model. Um, but that client-server model does allow access through both the browser as well as native um, access. Um, the other kind of main goal of Bonsai is to be incredibly feature-rich. Um, I want it to solve most data paradigms that you need out of the box. Um, I know that uh, purpose-built databases will always be far superior in terms of performance and potentially features for each individual feature, but I think that um, a good enough uh, database uh, for, for many people that provides uh, a good API that's very well integrated uh, is, is a compelling offering. Um, the last note is that this is completely non-commercial. I don't have any plans on monetizing this directly. Um, this is a means to an end for me. Um, the main goals for me is to try to solve all these problems that I felt like I kept battling when I was building my last company. Um, and to me, this uh, Bonds ADB is a result of trying to analyze what I thought was my ideal way to build backend um, in Rust. So um, these are the types of features that I think that uh, many people reach for um, when they need to, you know, solve different problems. Um, you know, you might have uh, metrics and log aggregation all for uh, being able to alert on uh, different conditions that are happening. Um, and then you know, everything I want to be designed to work in offline local mode so that you can uh, easily unit test your code. Um, simplifying deployment is all about the fact that uh, Bonsai is built into your application. So basically you deploy your application and uh, the, the database is deployed as well. Um, for maintenance, um, this is all in, uh, you know, uh, pie, uh, pie dream right now for me, um, pie in the sky, um, because uh, this is a, uh, Kind of longer term features. Uh, the only thing that's partially implemented on here is uh, there is a backup restore already, uh, but it's not incremental yet. So uh, everything will be, uh, you know, better tooling is essentially the summary of, of that slide. Um, you know, my end goal is to be able to build end user applications um, or games. Uh, ultimately, I, I still have a creative passion to try to make some games, but I don't know if we'll be able to make it a commercial success or not. Um, and Bonsai's goal, as I said earlier, is to make, you know, um, my, the approach for backend development in Rust um, as easy to, to do as possible um, by trying to help scaffold various aspects for you. Um, and I'm still trying to figure out the best way to solve the GUI approach for my tools and stuff. So I have an example that uses my own GUI library. Um, that was the only reason why I brought that up before. Um, I do not think that my library is the uh, end-all be-all. I think there are strengths of it, but I also think that there are strengths of some of the other approaches out there. Everything's just still very early. Um, this slide summarizes the game. It's not very important. Um, uh, this is the model for the player that's from the example. So you could go view the full source if you want. Um, in this, we're uh, defining a player uh, collection, which is essentially a table. Um, and the important part here is that uh, one of the, the properties here is uh, stats, um, and this is the player stat structure. And basically, every time that a, a round is played, um, the player stats are updated, and the player only has one set of stats at any given time. So to be able to query this in Bonds IDB, we're going to create a, um, a view. Um, we're going to call it player by score. Um, it has a key and a value. Um, every view has a key and a value, although you can use the unit type, you know, uh, empty parentheses, um, if you uh, don't actually want to use one of those values. Um, and uh, each um, view is implemented with a map function and optionally a reduce function. We're not going to show off the reduce function because this is lightning talk. Um, so the map function is all about extracting data out of your original collection documents that you've stored. Um, so this particular map function emits a single key and value, um, and the, the key is going to be the player's score, and the, the value is the stats. And this is an example of how you would query the top 10 uh, players using this view. Um, so views are always sorted by their key. Um, so to get the top values, uh, the, the highest values, we actually need to make it descending, limit 10, query, and that's kind of what you'd expect out of a lot of databases, but we didn't actually write any SQL, and there's not actually like an ORM creating SQL behind the scenes. It's all just pure Rust. Um, and uh, 
Bonsai makes this fast by trying to efficiently uh, cache the views on an as-needed basis. Um, and uh, yeah, you get back the, the, the actual types that you put in the database. So it's an actual VEC with a, a built-in type called map that has the key and the value and also the source document. So you can uh, find out what document admitted that. So up next for Bonsai DB, um, I've been working currently on uh, optimizing performance of multi-threaded transactions not quite where I want it to be at. Um, I have a lot of stuff on the blog if anyone wants to read some deep dives on that. Um, and it's all on a long-term term path of getting to replication. I really want to get high availability um, up as a, at least a DNS failover type setup that people could set up or something like that. Um, and I just want to call out that I'm always looking for new contributors. Um, I, it's a very big project. And if uh, any of this speaks to you, I would love to, to hear from you and see if uh, we could figure out something that you would be uh, interested in working on. Um, here's a bunch of links uh, to find out more about what I've talked about. And since this is not live, I will uh, uh, happily answer questions if anyone sends them to me. So thank you for listening and sorry for the uh, early connection issues I had.